Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam and this video will help you a lot to answer the question because this is question and answer session and question solve is one of the best way to get better, better marks in MRCS exam and pass the MRCS exam. So here the question, first of all read the question very carefully and try to pick up the key moments of this question. So here A 42 years old lady undergoes a difficult cholecystectomy and significant bleeding is occurring. The surgeons place a vascular clump transversely across the anterior border of the epipoloic foramen. Which of the following structures will be occluded in this manifold? So first of all, a 42 years old lady undergoes difficult cholecystectomy and profuse bleeding occurs for this the surgeon plays a vascular clump in the epipoloic foramen which of the following structure will be occluded that means which of the blood vessel will be occluded to uh, stop the bleeding at this event so here are the options uh, the options are cystic artery cystic duct left gastric artery portal vein and none of the above so we have to find out one of the five options here uh, which is compatible with the answer of the question so here uh, a vascular clump is uh, applied at the anterior border of the epipolic proman so uh, we have to find out first of all the epipolic proman then boundaries and finally the anterior boundary and in the anterior boundary we will find the structure which will be occluded so here This is the epipoloic foramen here, and this is anterior side, this is posterior side, upper side, and lower side. So, first of all, we can see anteriorly, anteriorly, this fascia is the laser omentum, so free margin of the laser omentum, and free margin of the laser omentum it contains three structures. Here, we can see the bile duct and the portal fin and hepatic artery. So, and posteriorly we can see the inferior vena cava superiorly corded lobe of the liver or corded process of the liver and inferiorly it is the first part, part of the duodenum so it is the epipoloic foramen and these are the boundaries of the epipoloic foramen anterior and posterior boundary it is absolutely vascular boundary that means vessels and are duct present and superiorly and inferiorly they are visceral margin that means superiorly this is uh, the quadrate process of the liver liver is a viscera on the other hand the first part of the duodenum it is also a viscera so upper and lower border it is formed by the viscera anterior and posterior is border is formed by the vessels so vascular clump placed here so one of the three structure will be clumped and here we can see the portal vein and hepatic artery so we know with the portal vein it uh, carries maximum amount of the blood that means 80 percent of the blood to the liver so for stop the bleeding 80 percent is more necessary and the hepatic artery it carries only 20 percent of the blood so in this here we can see this is the maneuver by uh, who is uh, they try to stop bleeding here we can see this is the cystic artery gallbladder and during the operation and here this is bile duct in front and then a hepatic artery and more posteriorly this is the hepatic portal vein so here we can see another clear view this is the anterior boundary and this anterior boundary three important structure this one is the common bile duct and here the portal fin and hepatic artery and we can see this is the foramen and this foramen is known as epipoloic foramen or foramen of the wings law and it is the only part way to uh, communicate between the greater and laser momentum and we also can see some other structure here such as here the stomach and liver so in this picture here is another picture here it, this is the anterior boundary and here this this area this is the posterior this is inferior and superior above 
so here in the anterior part there is a portal vein hepatic artery and bile duct and posteriorly here the inferior vena cava and inferiorly the duodenum so here another uh, picture this picture is very very important because uh, this boundary is very important the epiboleic foramen or foramen of the wings it is uh, because um, in different years uh, question arises from here so this uh, figures are important for the uh, for this reason the several pictures are inserted here uh, to make the conception very very clear so here we can see this is the common bile duct and just behind this this is the artery and this artery is the hepatic artery or hepatic artery proper and we know the hepatic artery proper it arises from the common hepatic artery and common hepatic artery arises from this this here this is the celiac trunk and celiac trunk from the abdominal aorta so the proper hepatic artery it receives 20 percent of the blood supply but it gets a larger source this is the abdominal aorta on the other hand this is the portal vein that means the hepatic portal vein it drains all of the blood almost all bloods of the gastrointestinal system that means from the from stomach to the uh, rectum and up to up to the rectum um, larger part of the rectum so a larger portion is drained by the hepatic portal vein so during any procedure if damaged portal vein it will lost the blood very very quickly so uh, it is very important to occlude this vessel and um, overcome the ongoing bleeding so here finally we can see the portal vein because portal vein lies um, in the free margin of the laser momentum which is the anterior boundary of the Promen or foramen of the wings law and this uh, the foramen wings law or epibolic foramen it has total four boundary this four boundary is very very important for the mrcs exam anterior boundary completely vascular posterior boundary vascular so it is easy to remember anterior and posterior boundary it is completely vascular on the other hand superior boundary and inferior boundary they are completely visceral so it is one of the tricks to remember the boundary so uh, the question uh, again in short in very short during cholecystectomy profuse or significant bleeding occurring and vascular can press transversely anterior border of the epipoloic foramen so epipoloic foramen anterior border it is formed by the vessel and these three vessels that means portal vein hepatic artery and one duct this is the common bile duct so when a vascular clump is transversely placed this one of the three structure will be compressed and bleeding will stop and here we can see the portal vein here present but hepatic artery is not present in this case and cystic duct or common bile duct common bile duct it contains bile not blood so it will not be option so we have to find out hepatic artery or portal vein in the options here we can see the portal vein present in the options so our final answer is the portal vein portal vein is compressed during the maneuver that means the anterior border of the public promen compressed then portal vein will be compressed and bleeding will reduce and finally stop.